absolutely thrilled that you're all here tonight to learn about what we're doing to change the way people think and feel about Israel. I also have a dream. And in my dream, I'm walking around the world when I travel around the world and I get stopped by people and I get asked, so where are you from? And I say that I'm from Israel. And then they say with a sort of sparkle in their eye, oh, wow, Israel, what a wonderful, fantastic place. It's buzzing with this creative energy. There's so much technology. All the international companies are there. You must be doing such amazing things, making the world a better place. So I may be dreaming, but everything that I've said is actually true. It's just that we don't talk about it. So what we've done in the last uh, four years is we decided that we were going to try and reach out to mostly the millennial generation because they're the people who are making things really happen. Now the people that I'm talking about are just not regular people. These are online opinion leaders. They have hundreds of thousands of people, sometimes millions of people following them on a monthly basis on their websites, their YouTube channels. And we reached out to them and we said, you're invited to a week-long all expenses paid tour of Israel to show you what Israel has to offer in the field that you write about. Today we finished our 16th tour which was all about boutique tourism and this wonderful uh, uh, Instagram post came up today that I had to share with you. Over the past seven days, I fell in love, not with a political entity or state, but with people, with food, with music, life, and landscapes. And that's really what we're trying to say. We're really trying to say that there's a really easy way to get through to people, and we can talk about Israel in a completely different way. We're very proud to be here tonight and we thank you all for your support and for jo joining Joanna and Julia and the team in supporting this important effort to bring people from around the world, influencers from around the world, to see the great work happening in Israel and to help spread the words. I know all the things that you're doing are similar to what Abney's been doing, bringing people together, networking, working together, trying to solve our problems. Uh, keep doing what you're doing and looking forward to, uh, to getting together in the future. So what Vibe Israel is doing is helping us in this monumental task of uh, conveying to the world that Israel is a country, not a conflict. Israel is a country with real people, with real aspirations, with real dreams. And what we're doing tonight is not only launching the American Friends of Vibe Israel, but we're also uh, creating basically the Israel Positioning Initiative. We're going to get the nonprofit sector and the business sector in Israel, the Israelis themselves, to start putting money into this and to get involved in promoting Israel and letting everyone know the wonderful place that it is. Let's together change the way people think and feel about Israel. Thank you very much.